Oh, hello. Stocking up on the painkillers, I see. I get terrible headaches too. Quite disabling. <sighs> Makes you wonder what goes on up there. I knew a woman once. A great woman. Funny, charming and intelligent. She was into brains. Unlocking all their mysteries, how they work, why they do what they do. If she'd gone on to finish what she'd started, things like Alzheimer's would have been history. It was all about manipulating the senses, you see, to light up those lost parts of the mind. She worked out it was all about sound. Get the right sound and everything would come flooding back. Don't go yet. First, let me tell you about the brilliant Professor Maggie Shaw. It all began after a long, heavy day of research and audio therapy. It was late. The hospital car park was dark and cold. Maggie? Professor Maggie Shaw? Tom? Hello, Maggie. Good to see you. How are you? I'm fine. I'm wondering what you're doing in our car park at 10 to midnight. But I'm fine, yeah. What are you doing here, Tom? Well, I was, uh, actually waiting for you. Can we talk? Uh, not right now, no. It's late and I'm going home. Please, um, get in the car. It's, uh, a bit cold. Please. Still driving around in blacked-out, chauffeur-driven limos, are we, Tom? It's the only way to travel. Not for me. Not anymore. Maggie, please. Uh, Tom, I finished with you guys years ago, remember? Big row, me walking out, threats of lawsuits, etc. I've got an early start tomorrow and patients who need me here. Uh, Maggie, it's Max. What about him? He needs you. He needs your help. There's been an accident. What sort of accident? Just an accident. It's easier if you come see. Is Max... Max is... He needs you. He asked for you. Please. Get in the car. Well? Listen, I can't go into details. What sort of accident was He's it? He's still alive. I can't say any more than that. Can't say or won't say? Where are we going? Still based over in Cambridge? No. I'd get some sleep if I were you. It'll be a while before we get there. Tom, I can't just go off with you indefinitely. I have to get back to my patients. For three days. That's all I'm asking. Your patients can cope without you for three days, surely. Okay. Three days. How is Max? I mean, how's he been since... He's been okay. I heard he found someone. But you heard wrong. Get some sleep, Maggie. Wake up. We're here. We are? What time is it? 11 a.m. Where the hell are we? New Zealand? Not quite. We're actually 200 feet underground. <sighs> no wonder you look so pasty. <laughs> Come on. You can freshen up and then we can... No. Let me see Max. I need to see him now. Could you get those results to me as soon as they're ready, please? Thanks. Okay, Maggie, I'd like to introduce you to the team. This is Dr. David Rose. Pleased to meet you. David has ten years' experience working in the field of neuroscience. And this is Dr. Oliver Penwright. He'll also be acting as your assistant. It's an honor, truly. And please, call me Ollie. Your work on audio therapy, truly amazing. And your theories on personality reconstruction, just... Revolution. Uh, yeah, my work on personality reconstruction hasn't been published yet. Uh, no, but... Yes, well, anything you want, anything you need, just ask Ollie. Okay, Ollie. Where's Max? Well, he's through in that room there. Can I talk to him then, please? He is the one who requested my presence, after all. Well, that wasn't strictly true. Let me talk to Max. You can't. What? Maggie, you should prepare yourself. Just... Let me see him. Hello. 
What, what happened to him? We're not sure. You said there was an accident. There was. Well, what sort of an accident? Again, we're not sure. We think his brain has shut down. You think? I can show you the readings we took almost immediately after the event. Well, an hour after. You do that, and while you're at it, warm up the... Have you got a CT scanner on site? Yes, yes, we have. Warm it up. I want to take a look for myself. OK, let's begin. What is she doing? Has she signed the green for? How long will this take? I'm sorry, what is that? We're being observed via a web link. By who? Various interested parties. Uh, well, can the various interested parties please shut up? Oh, of course. Right. Let's start again, shall we? OK, let's see what we've got. Oh, my God, it's as if he's in the fourth stage of sleep. His synapses, his neurons, there's minimum activity. It's as if they're being suppressed in some way. No evidence of head trauma. Uh, there was, uh, there was no head trauma. I've never seen anything like it. We've tried shocking him. You did what? To stimulate activity. Just a mild charge. <laughs> but uh, this is all the information you've got, right? Well... Well, well, don't you think you should have waited until you had a clearer picture before you started slapping electrodes on his skull? I thought... What's going on? You could have caused brain damage. You could have killed him. I did what I thought was best, under the circumstances. There was no time to think. You always give yourself time to think. Tom, where did you find this guy? Brains are us? Maybe we should discuss this elsewhere. No, I did... Dr. What I... David Rowe, I think you've got a D section. No, I... I just did what I thought was right. Report to D section. Please, David, don't make this difficult. What's D section? Nothing for you to worry about. Can you help Max? I don't know yet. She doesn't know. I don't know yet because I haven't been given the full facts. What happened here? <sighs> Ollie, tell me. Uh, Ollie, could you escort Professor Shaw over to West Block? I'll join you there. D section? West Block? What the hell is this? W West Block is where we go to talk. Come on. Welcome to West Block. Welcome to West Block. Tom, I cannot work under these conditions. You know all that you need to know. No, I don't. I also don't appreciate being brought to a room that looks like something out of Alcatraz. Is this some sort of threat? No, of course not. Just somewhere we can talk away from prying eyes and over-eager ears. I want to help. You do? That's Max in there. Of course I want to help. But I need to know what happened to him. We can't tell you. We just need you to return him to consciousness. That's all. We'll take it from there. Come on, you're the best in the field. I'm not better than Max. You are now. I don't mean now he's in a coma. I mean in terms of your research. He said so himself. He did? Yeah. Through gritted teeth, but he said it. The mentor becomes the pupil. <laughs> did he sing a verse of, Don't you want me, baby, while he was at it? No, he didn't. Sorry. That was cheap. No less than I'd expect from you. What? Have you got some sort of problem, Tom? Why would I have a problem? I don't know. Because you know what? What happened between me and Max happened between me and Max and no one else got it. I didn't mean to hurt him. You're hurting him right now by refusing to cooperate. Max is dying in there. If his brain doesn't kick in soon, his body will begin to shut down. I know that, but what, you'd rather I groped around in his brain and ended up killing him out of ignorance? One slip for me, and he dies. You want that piled on my conscience, along with everything else? Okay. I understand. Maybe need some time to think things over. Oh, don't do this! There's an intercom on the wall over there. When you're ready, just press the button, and we'll talk. Tom! What was that? Rhodes. Over in D section. He's being appraised. Please, think it over, but don't take too long. There's only so long I can remain in charge of your case file. Tom! Tom Hurtland. I need a pee. I've been down here for five hours and I need a pee. 
You know what you're doing is illegal, right? Are you ready to help? D tell me roughly what happened to Max. I was his wife, for God's sake. I have a right to know. Max has no next of kin now. Are you hungry? Starving. I'll have them send you something down. Tom. Uh, Tom! Tom! Oh, bastard! <sighs> Professor Shaw. Ollie? Shh. Come with me. Come with me now. Welcome to K section. What is this place? Sir Max's office. Quiet. Okay. In. Go. Quickly. All right. We haven't got long. Security checks this room every half hour. Ollie, can you please just tell me what is going on? Yeah, I'm going to. Just a second. What are you doing? Opening up some Max's encrypted files. If you're going to help him, you need to know everything. I know that, even if some idiots don't. What, you have the passcodes? Yeah, I've been Sir Max's personal assistant for over five years. He trusts me. <laughs> Sounds like the relationship I had with him before the wedding bells started ringing. He hasn't asked you to marry him, has he? <laughs> no. Actually, I started working for him not long after. We split up? Yeah. What happened to him, Ollie? Were you with him? If I'd been there, I wouldn't be speaking to you now. We were working on something called Project Purple. Catchy. It was a top-secret programme focusing on how the brain reacts to subliminal sound. Sound? Has this place by any chance been stealing from my research? Uh, no, no, no. Your research deals with unlocking information already present in the brain. Ours deals with providing information. Ah, let me guess. You aim to provide this information without the subject's knowledge or consent? In some instances, yes, but... The aim was that it would only be used for the most positive of applications. It could be used to cure addictions. Alcohol, drug dependence could be wiped out with just an hour's course of treatment. Rehabilitate violent offenders. Yeah, that too. Get people to buy certain products. Well, that was considered. Or vote in a certain way. Again, yes, but we're not monsters. We put certain legal safeguards on our work to prevent that from happening. For every safeguard, there's a loophole. <sighs> well... Maybe, but that doesn't help us now. So, what do you want to show me? Ah, this is footage taken immediately before the accident. Test number 2.2. Project Purple, reference 637Q. Max, you look so old. How, how long ago was this? Two weeks. Subjects 3 through 8 present. What are those guys in green doing? Are they soldiers? They're test subjects, lab rats. <laughs> Did they sign up for this? Wait, shh. We're about to project the purple down. All subjects haven't been passed us. Oh. Wait, what? What is that? Is that... the property of the Clear Rainbow Consortium. Any unauthorised access will result in prosecution. What just happened there? The sound, the purple tone, was pumped into the test chamber prematurely. It had never been heard by humans. It didn't have the desired or projected effect. <laughs> it didn't have the desired or projected effect. No, evidently. I need to see everything you've got on Project Purple. There's some stuff on the hard drive, but he kept most of it on disk. OK. Where's the disk? In his desk drawer. This one? Yeah, of course, this one. It's the same bloody desk he had when he was teaching me at uni. Uh, no, look, I'll... Oh, God, this is going to take forever. Same old messy old Max. Always... Oh. What? Nothing, just... Ah, the photograph. Oh, no. Our wedding day. Look at Tom. He was best man. And Max, he looks so handsome. Would have thought he'd have thrown this away, to be honest. He used to have it out on his desk. He didn't. Of course he did. Oh. He loved you. And you repaid him by sleeping with some guy from the lab. Tom. I brought you a cheese sandwich. You said you were hungry. Uh, sir, I, I... Shut up, Ollie. It's not his fault. 
What, you talked him into opening that door, did you? Whispered to him through four inches of reinforced steel? You have no right to do what you're doing here. We have every right if the ends justify the means. Ollie, report to D-section. Please. No, you do that, and you may as well send me too, because I will not work for you. And then how are you going to get Max back? How much does she know? She's seen the footage of the accident. From which angle? Camera A, the webcam. Okay. Well, Professor Shaw, since you know that much, you may as well know the rest. Come with me. You too, Ollie. Oh, my... There's 53 of them. The footage you saw showed only a fraction of those exposed to the purple tone. Fifty-three sample volunteers, lab technicians, scientists... All blasted by the wave of sound and left in the same catatonic state affecting Max. How long can you keep them like this? As long as the powers that be see a point to keeping them alive. That goes for Max, too. You owe him, Maggie. You owe us all. For crying out loud. Listen, when you ran out on Max... Oh, blah, blah, blah. Tom, please explain what, for the love of God, has me and Max's personal history got to do with anything. You really don't know, do you? When you betrayed him, he fell apart. His brilliance, his passion, all gone. For two whole years, he was dead to us. All he was good for was swabbing out Petri dishes. All the discoveries he could have made in that time, gone forever. Now, if you want to make up for those lost years, you'll play ball, understand? I can't do it, Tom. I object in principle and practice to what you are doing here. Oh, would you just come down off your moral mountain for a second and take a look around? If you truly believed in fulfilling your Hippocratic Oath, you'd swallow your conscience and start helping these people now. All right. If I can, I'll do it. I'll help. But you have to show me everything. No holding stuff back. Ollie can give you everything you need. Okay. I need to see a deconstruction of the sound that was played to these people. And I need to see the equipment used to produce it. Oh, and I'll take one of those cheese sandwiches. I'm frickin' starving. <laughs> That's it! That's it! Brilliant, Ollie! Okay, shut it down. <sighs> Excellent, we're on our way. The computer simulation was all on the line. Yeah, could do with some tweaking, but... How's it going? Uh, after analysing the construction of the purple tone, we're aiming to produce countertones, ordering the brain to reverse the effect, uh, instructing it to reactivate itself, as it were. Will that work? Hopefully. When will it be ready? It will be ready when it's ready. That's no good. One of the lab rats just died. His organs shut down. Eight others are going the same way, including Max. Time's running out. What's she doing now? Gentlemen, observers, powers that be, Tom... Is she going to try and resuscitate someone? I am now going to attempt to reverse all the good work you've done. Is that so much she's got there? Well, observe that gentleman at the back. I am indeed going to start with a single subject, that of Sir Max Rencart. But she might wipe his mind completely. She could kill him. Hey Maggie, I don't feel comfortable testing this thing on Max. Maybe start with one of the test subjects, yes? You said it yourself. We're running out of time. And Max wouldn't have it any other way. He's a trailblazer. I know he would want to go first. But, Maggie, I don't... Trust me, Tom. Ollie, do it. No! It started. It would be dangerous to break the cycle now. Bring it up, Ollie. Upper tone. Fade in tracks 5, 7 and 15. That's it. Brain function it's is... It's not working. Five more seconds, then. The simulation showed activity by now. Three, two, one... Track 22. Ollie, track 22 now. Nothing. Fading track 3B. And bring it up. Maggie, Maggie, I think it's there. time to... You see that? Synaptic activity increasing. Neurons responding. It's working. Cut the sound. Maggie, has it worked? Max, come back to me, Max. It's me. Maggie, come back to me. Is he okay? Has it worked? Well, the readings are on the line, but there's no guarantee that he'll be... Come on, Max. Wake up. It's morning time. And I'm here. I'm right here. 
Max, come on. Okay. Yeah, it's me. Surprise, surprise. Maggie, your smile. Your beautiful smile. Okay, that's it. What? Yeah, great work, Maggie, Ollie, but we'll take it from here. But you will not. We need to do further tests. We need Security. to... Security! Sup? Escort Professor Shaw to her quarters. Sup? Don't you put your hands on... Don't put your hands on me! Max. It's Tom. We need to talk. Yes? He wants to see you. Is he okay? He's fine. Come on over. Have you got the readout from the results? Do we have the information? Yes, I'm well. Yes, sir. If you want to see. Maggie. You look great. You've looked better. How was it over on the other side? Well, no flights of angels, but um, I didn't think there would be. <laughs> you did it, Maggie. I knew you would. What? You knew while you were lying in a coma that I'd succeed in undoing all your voodoo science? Same old Maggie. Judging us all. You have to destroy it, Max. Get all your data and all your research and wipe it. Delete it. I'm inclined to agree. But why? Well, for one thing, it doesn't work. It works just fine. You wiped the minds of a room full of people. Well, that's one way of rehabilitating offenders, but it's a bit extreme, wouldn't you say? <laughs> oh, she bought the rehab line. Well done, Ollie. What's going on? The purple tone did exactly what it was supposed to do. It's designed to pacify people. What? Oh, don't look like that. It could revolutionise how we live. It could mean an end to war as we know it. It's a weapon? No, not really. But if you could produce a large enough wave of sound, you could indeed neutralize whole cities. Why blow people to pieces when you can simply put them all to sleep? Then go in, disarm and neutralize those who may put up an armed response, and then resuscitate them all. It really is a tool designed to produce a peaceful, better world. Maggie, I had no idea. Well, why would you, Tom? You're not told everything. You're a gopher, that's all. We say fetch and off you go. I never, ever thought that... Oh, was... don't look so affronted. You thought it was going to be used to make people buy fizzy drinks and that didn't seem to bother you. Uh, but wait a minute, you had no way of resuscitating them before I came along. Mm, yes. Those 53 subjects who were out cold over in the infirmary, they weren't knocked out all at once. They were systematically exposed to the purple tone one by one, as part of a test program. Only, we found there was no way of resuscitating them. The experiment was failing. We were running out of ideas. We knew by looking at your research that you might hold the key. So you tested it on yourself? Well, I thought... I thought you might come back and help me, if it was me in trouble. For old time's sake. Hell of a gamble. Yes, it was. But look, you're here. It's good to see you again, Max. Come back. Back to me. Back to us. Look what you've done here. You've made the project complete. Whole. I want to go home. Oh, Maggie. I'm so glad that I left you all those years ago, because if I was still married to you, I still... Loved you the way that I did, my heart would be splitting in two right now. I want to go home. You can't. What? No. No threats. If she wants to go, she can go. Sir, she knows everything. And what good will it do her? Do you think she wants to end up destroying her reputation by becoming one of those cranks ranting on about ESP and UFO technology? No. Let her go. But Maggie? Yeah? Thanks for riding in here and saving me. Consider it a debt repaid. I do. Goodbye, Max. Goodbye. Maggie! <sighs> Come to wave me off, Tom? No, I'm, uh... I'm riding home myself. They fired you? I quit. Mind if I keep you company? 
in my chauffeur-driven limo. <laughs> it's the only way to travel. You know, I'm really sorry about everything. I truly had no idea. Just leave it, Tom. This is one episode I'm just going to scrub from my brain. I'm just glad that come tomorrow, I'll be back doing my kind of work, making people better for a truly better world. <laughs> You sound like one of our slogans. One of their slogans, Tom. Yeah. Any chance of finding a service station? I could do at the loo. And some chocolate. Yeah, actually, I'm bursting too. Driver, could you just pull up over here? Oh, I'm not going in the bushes. Oh, okay. Just stay here then. Uh, no. Uh, Tom, my door is locked. Tom! Tom, open this door. I'm really sorry, Maggie. I'm just a gopher, that's all. Tom, please. I'm sorry. Please, Tom, no. Done. Shall I take her over to disposal? Certainly not. Take her over to Project Orange. To personality reconstruction? Yes. That's the one. Let them deal with her. They removed her memories and gave her brand new ones. They gave her new hair, a new nose, new chin, even new breasts. All her achievements wiped out with a burst of sound and a cut of the knife. Now the woman who is in line for a Nobel Prize is working on something quite, quite different. Just over there, look. You see? That'll be £15.07, please. There you are. Has anyone ever told you you have the most... Beautiful smile. And to think she was on the verge of understanding just exactly how the human mind works. <laughs> For all the good it would have done her. In Project Purple by Richard Vincent, Maggie Shaw was played by Emily Wolf and Tom Hartland by Trevor White. Dr. Oliver Penwright was played by Gunnar Cawthory. Sir Max Renkart by Jonathan Taffler, and Dr. Rhodes by Paul Ryder. The officials were Inam Mirza and Robert Lonsdale. Other parts were played by Don Hughes. Mark Gatiss was the man in black. Project Purple was produced by Gemma Jenkins and directed by Faith Collingwood.